I think they're gonna commit. Okay, get ready. Here they come, right out to the right. Ready? To the right, to the right. Let's take them, take them, take them. Whoa, yeah, no bird, no bird. Damn. There you go, good job. What no is bird, you boys? Bird. I know you see it, but we ain't going after that. Yeah, shoot. Did you oh, shoot for yeah. Woo-yah! No, I just shot. did you shoot? Yeah. yeah, I shot. You saw a duck fall? I don't think I hit it. Ah! <laughs> I led him about a truck. Here we go. Literally. Literally. Bam, bam. So what we got now? Eight. Oh, Eight behind us. In the blind. Behind us. Turn around. Turn around. Bang bang. A boom 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 boom. A bang 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 bang. I love the way you fly. Oh, I love the way you die. I love the way you walk. I love the way you fall. I knock you off of your feet. Something good to eat. No, oh, boom boom boom. How, 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 get it down. Hey, it is the first cold snap of the season and a quarter inch ice, but the ice eater has knocked a hole out out there. So that was a good investment. I think that might've been Bob Snell's idea anyway. So that was a good investment, it's going well. As expected, we got a little ice, about a quarter inch thick out there. We got Bobby Thomas, we got Kurt Tucker with us. Um, and so we're gonna see if this ice eater really has done its job. We cranked it, ran it all night, and guess what? We have a hole for ducks to land in. This could be good. Hey, coming Better right down right front, here. three, coming in, four. Take them, take them, take them. Got that one. No bird, no, no, no. Y'all keep up where they are. All right. If you've seen the show before, you know that uh, we hunt a lot with Bobby Thomas. He's a uh, director of the Arkansas Baptist Foundation, and he's along with us, and we also have Kurt Tucker. So Kurt is Sonny Tucker's son. Sonny is the head of the Arkansas Baptist State Convention. And so Sonny's hunted with us some. You've seen him over the last few years and episodes. Uh, but this is the first time we've had Kurt with us, so this ought to be uh, fun to see if Kurt can shoot as good as hun uh, honey. Sonny. Honey, Sonny. Sorry, honey. Sonny. What is that? It's his waiter belt. Look what he's got his waiter set up with. No old Brady leather belt. <laughs> you look like you got a tail hanging out of what the back of the waiter. Look here. Look. Look here. Look this side over here. Look here, waiter belt. What? Waiter tails. And it's tied waiter up tail. in the back? Yeah, waiter tails. That could be a new, could be some kind of a new invention. Look, look Those there. tuckers, they come up with some clothing deals, don't they? Waiter tails. Waiter tails. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right here, right here. Come right out here. Group. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Shoot that. Hey, we waited way too late to make the call on that. Well, I thought you were gonna shoot that hand right there in front of you. I know you ain't giving me a conversation about shooting down here. No, I was just wondering if you were gonna shoot that. I was like, what are you doing? I was, hey, you know. I didn't shoot, but I don't have that greedy stuff in my heart. See, I was trying to let the rest of the group get in there. <laughs> I was like, hey. <laughs> here they come, 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 here they come. Okay, I got a little excited. Why didn't he shoot? They gone. My bad, we could have had 11. They gone. The unselfishness though, I appreciate it. I can't hear you down there. I got this generator blowing I was complimenting over. you. What? I said the unselfishness, thank you. At least you was a try. Yeah, I was trying to give Kirk a shot. Good. I think he was Kirk had the shot. <laughs> he probably said it. Like, as in Captain Kirk. The only negative part about an ice eater is you got to run a generator to run the ice eater. So we got the generator sitting on the levee over there, and it's really loud. And so you know, we haven't hunted with one. We don't know if that's going to keep the ducks out or 
draw the ducks in? Don't really know. So we're kind of experimenting. And um, after a while, it seems like the ducks are not getting low enough because they get low enough and realize, hey, that's the big noise. What is that? And when that happens, you know, you got to start moving and working. Uh, so we break up ice. All right, I got to do something. Bob Snell, is he a good helper in the ice? You just have to watch and make your mind up for yourself sometimes. Makeup time. This is duck hunt right here now. How about this? We stay till 9.30, we turn the generator off and see if that makes any difference. Yeah, I mean, we can, it ain't. For 45 minutes. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I don't think it is either, but. Get ready. Get ready. Right behind front us, in front of here. <laughs> Boom Time with Bob and Archie is proud to be brought to you by Bandit and Avery Outdoors. Get in the red zone and seal the deal. know what you did with your tax refund last year? Hey, I'm Ray Osmond from Premier Auto, and I want to get you in a nicer, newer car today. Nobody's going to work harder, nobody's got a better inventory, and nobody's had more success getting people into the cars they love and payments they can afford. That's the Premier promise. Come see us at 2200 Redwood Boulevard, and you'll know why thousands have bought here at Premier. Or check us out at PremierHasIt.com. Premier Auto, a better way to buy a better vehicle. We just want to say thank you for making Boom Time with Bob and Archie the most watched weekly program across Region 8 and in Mississippi's Golden Triangle. Boom Time is consistently rated number one week in and week out across all television networks. So again, thank you for choosing Boom Time and thank you for your financial support. We truly appreciate you and hope you get a smile from some of our adventures and are blessed by our biblical teachings. Because with Boom Time, it's all about Jesus. This segment of Boom Time with Bob and Archie brought to you by Russell's Truck Accessories. Once the sun you know, came up and uh, we had a generator running, it seems like the ducks were trying to get in, but they would get down low enough and either realize there's a generator there or the sound of it or something, I don't know. So, so we hadn't hunted with this before. Let's experiment a little bit. Let's turn the generator off and see if that makes a difference. <laughs> Come. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Shoot me. Oh, I only had two shots in. Three down. Awesome. Oh, yeah. It makes a big difference. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. You ready? Yes. There you go. It is hard for me to trust Bob and his opinion sometimes, you know, because Bob thinks he knows it all. Sometimes he's right, sometimes he's wrong. He won't admit he's wrong, but it's hard for me to trust him sometimes. Do I really have to do that? I'm really gonna have to say he was right. Man. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Shoot. You better take him, take him, take him. Okay. Kind of like Fonzie going, I'm so, 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 so sorry, you know? Uh, yeah, Bob was right. We turned it off. Ducks fly in. Payal. So I hate to admit it, but he was right on that one. Yeah, I don't usually get 
things right. So he probably he probably has the right idea to avoid uh, my decisions or my suggestions. But this time, my suggestions seem to work. Golly, good shot. No, nope. load up again. Yes. Oh. I'd shoot. In a pit. Whoa! Woo! That's two. That was an easy pickup. <laughs> shoot them in the beak. Beak busters, baby. Oh yeah, that's what we do. Let's take them. Turn around. Turn up. Turn up. Right here. Right here. Let's take them. Ooh, shot the feathers out of that baby. <laughs> hey, hey all over. get this video right here. All these ducks. Ooh, it's on the teal. All these ducks. And then went this way. Hunter is out of town, so he's got a couple of guys that help out when he can't be there. And so I'm trying to kind of help him understand how this works and how we shoot ducks and how we video ducks. And so as we're trying to do that, Ducks are everywhere, and it's just, I mean, it's hard. Come on, Ace. What do you want to do? got a little problem going on here. What you want to do? What you want to do? That's a good question. There comes a point <laughs> when we're kind of hungered down in the pit, that. and there are so many groups working us. And so I'm on this end looking toward Bob with the dog behind me. I'm calling, and I'm looking, and everybody's eyes and their head, they're looking through our our camouflage and they're all looking at different sets of ducks and so I can watch their head just on a pivot and nobody's looking at the same group. No. <laughs> Coming right down there's one picking a hit. Hey, I just laid it. <laughs> when you see that many ducks coming in and coming in from all directions at that point it becomes just confusion because you know everybody is looking in a different direction. There's ducks behind us, there's ducks in front of us, there's ducks over the top of us, there's ducks swinging by. So I'm looking one direction, Kurt's looking one way, Bobby's looking that way, Archie's looking that way. Nobody knows what to do, when to shoot, how to shoot. And it's also an unbelievable, magical show. <laughs> So, you know, one of those situations, mm -hmm. shooting. it was wrong call probably on my part too, and not trying to make the call. We're looking at different ducks. We don't end up firing a shot uh, when we probably should have killed 15 out of that, those groups coming through there. So we just keep waiting, waiting, waiting. And finally, they do that in those rice fields. They're not in there. Then once they get through, they're gone. And that's what happened to us. Now, everybody says, oh, it's a beautiful sight. Well, it was terrible to me. For more about Boom Time with Bob and Archie, visit us on the web at boomtime.tv. There you can find all of our past episodes and connect with us through Facebook, Twitter, and email. This segment of Boom Time with Bob and Archie is brought to you by Federal Premium Black Cloud. We are Straysner Brothers Construction in Blyville, and we build industry. We're one of Middle America's top providers of construction, engineering, and design services since 1980. We are a debt-free company, own our own equipment, and complete projects on time and on budget. So from conception to completion, Straysner Brothers offers all the services needed for your next industrial build. Straysner Brothers Construction. We build industry. For more info, visit straysnerbrothers.com. Hello everyone, I'm Bob Snell with Boom Time with Bob and Archie. I just want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for watching Boom Time and being part of a ministry that is all about the life-saving gospel of Jesus Christ. We are a 501-3C nonprofit ministry totally supported through your advertising partnerships and your donations. Everything you give goes directly to the production of the program and the cost of TV airtime to show Boom Time and television markets all across the nation. Archie and I are not paid for what we 
we do with Boom Time. Everything you give goes directly to advancing the gospel through this television ministry, which through your support is currently being broadcast into more than 5 million homes across the nation. So if you'd like to help be a part of Boom Time and what we're doing, go to our website, boomtime.tv. There at the top, you'll see a donate button. You'll have a couple of different options on how you can help support us financially and help us continue to share the gospel through this television ministry. If there's one thing we know about the future, is that we want them to have it even better than we did. The best is what we're expecting for our families, for our best friends, for our better halves. So when someone we love is not feeling their best, that's when we need it the most to get the best doctors, the best hospitals, the best treatment, to just get better. Do you even know what you did with your tax refund last year? Hey, I'm Ray Osmond from Premier Auto, and I want to get you in a nicer, newer car today. Nobody's going to work harder, nobody's got a better inventory, and nobody's had more success getting people into the cars they love and payments they can afford. That's the Premier Promise. Come see us at 2200 Redwood Boulevard and you'll know why thousands have bought here at Premier. Or check us out at PremierHasIt.com. Premier Auto, a better way to buy a better vehicle. At Hytrol, we provide material handling solutions that move the world. We've been designing, developing, and delivering advanced material handling systems for over 70 years. Hytrol operates on a promise, a promise to make lives better, to create the solutions people care about, to make incredible things happen each and every day. At Hytrol, we know what we'll always be doing, pushing boundaries, fostering relationships, and delivering what comes next. Shop Talk for Boom Time is presented by Hytrol. Yes, that's how we do it. I've already clapped. Welcome back to Shop Talk, and here we are, the segment of Boom Time of Bob and Archie where we take the scripture and we show you how we can use that in our everyday lives. And we've been talking about the last few weeks about why church? Why do we do the things that we do in church? Why do we go to church? Why do we serve? Why do we give? Why do we sing? Why do we, yeah, why? I just go so I can sing by you. you know? That's, That's it. That's what I usually try to get as far away as possible. But <laughs> well, you know, okay. Hey, today we're going to talk about why we go. Okay? Right. Now, not going to church, but why do we go and tell people about Jesus Christ? Exactly. You know, you may have grown up in a church. You may be a part of a local church. And I'm talking about missions. You're talking about sharing your faith in Jesus with other people. You may wonder, why should I tell somebody else about Christ? Or especially, you know, for uh, Bob and I, I mean, we, we have an opportunity to travel. We do a lot of mission trips. You might say, why do you guys want to go to Africa or China or Japan or India? Why do you do that? Why do you go over and tell people uh, about Jesus? So that's what we're going to talk about. Why go? So let's read scripture yeah. first. Let's find out what hey, the scripture says. Romans 10. We're going to pick up in verse 13. 13. For whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Woo! I like that. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? How will they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how will they hear without a preacher? How will they preach unless they are sent? Just it is, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things. However, they did not all heed the good news, for Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? So faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Yeah. You know, a lot of times on our episode, especially in Shop Talk, you hear us talk about that promise right there, Romans 10, 13, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. What a promise. Well, let me give you just a few things out of here why we go. There is a, if you go back up and read in the context of this passage, as Paul's writing uh, there to the, the church that's in Rome, uh, you'll see where he says, I have this desire for, yeah. for them to come to know Christ. Uh, when we become believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, you would have to fight against this to not act upon it. There should be something within you mm -hmm. that wants to share with others of who Christ is. It's kind of like, you know, if you find a place where there's a good meal yeah. and you like it, you know, and you sometimes you'll, you'll tell other people, say, man, I want to tell you where you can find this good meal at. Okay. Best What's restaurant like, I've ever been yeah, to. You know, it's good. Had. You know, we were in Dallas here recently. People were going, hey, you need to go eat here. You need to go eat there. You need to do this. But, you know, when you come to know Christ, it should be this passion desire. So why go? Well, it's inside of us, Absolutely. okay? So you almost have to push it down and fight against it, not to be sharing the good news of Christ of how you've been set free, you know? So that's that's kind of a first principle there. Uh, but also too, because Romans 10, 13 says, 
whoever calls upon the name of the Lord. Now this way, it's a promise. Right. That is a promise. Bob didn't say it, I didn't say it. It's the Lord himself said that. Mm -hmm. So whoever is, doesn't make any difference where you've been. You know, sometimes people say, well, I've been really moral. I've messed around a lot in life. And you know, uh, Archie, I've been through some bad stuff. The Lord said, whoever. Yeah. Uh, calls upon the name of the Lord. And you say, well, uh, Archie, uh, it still says whoever to promise. So no matter what your background is or where you've been or what's taking place, you say, I've hurt people. God says whoever. So, and calling upon him as Lord means that you are believing and trusting in him. It's not just praying some prayer, some words. Uh, it is admitting that he is the Lord in the universe and you're surrendering everything to him. So it is a promise, you know. But then also, uh, we go because we're sent. Man, that passage that you read, Bob, says how beautiful the feet of those who bring the good news. Mm -hmm. You know, we kind of laugh about this. 2,000 years ago, they didn't have cowboy boots necessarily, <laughs> you know, or rubber boots like we wear. No. And it's all sandaled feet in the Middle East. And so they're, you know, uh, if you've been around animals, there's cow manure and stuff. And you just can't imagine walking to that. Feet were nasty. Yeah. And so, but when someone has never heard the good news of how to be set free, regardless of what that person has walked through to get there, they say, your feet are beautiful because you brought me good news. Mm -hmm. You know, there are millions of people around the world who have never heard the name of Jesus. Right. I just heard one of our, uh, in Baptist life, one of our uh, leaders who said he was in uh, Nepal and walked into a village and said, tell me what you know about Christ. And they said, who is that? And nine million people, there's only about 100 believers among them. Wow. That's crazy. When we're here, we said in the U.S. And, and other places that have heard, but they hadn't. So God has sent us and it says, how will they go without a preacher? That doesn't mean someone like me that's, you know, you're a preacher right. uh, on the weekends. It's a herald, a proclaimer. So it's yeah. talking about everybody. And so when it says faith comes by hearing, hearing by the words of Christ, you know, uh, we love shooting, right? Yes. And we love doing boom time, but we're very intentional about sharing the good news of Jesus. And the reason is people don't get saved or come to forgiveness of sin until they hear and believe. And so they've got to hear the gospel. And so God has sent us out and he's told us to go. So to not go is to reject the commandment right. that God has given us to go and to make disciples. We talk about going and the people have seen us go. I mean, episodes last year, we had a couple yeah. mission trips that we went to Alaska and this yeah. year we're gonna to go to Brazil. You'll yeah. see that in a future season, but uh, how does somebody say, well, I, I can't really do that. I can't go that far. I don't want to, they can still go. They just have to go closer. Yeah. You know, and, and hopefully in a, a church you attend or interested in attending or thinking about uh, attending, I guess I can say it like that. But uh, we do uh, local trips that are in the city mm -hmm. of Jonesboro, Arkansas, yep. where we live. And, you know, where you're not gone all night and you just go work a half a day, spend a half a day, maybe you're just, you know, doing backyard Bible clubs and stuff like that. So, in regard to going, you can always start, and you can start just with your next door neighbor. Just go across the lawn and say, hey, let me tell you where I go to church, and just ask them a question. Tell them your testimony. I came to faith in Christ, and I was 25, but is that ever, you know, you ever surrendered your life to Jesus? And I see what they say. So that's part of going. Yeah, you and I, we've been around, been believers for a while, so traveling into another country is, I mean, it's, it's what we do, but I didn't start out that way. No, absolutely. You know, you generally start out right there at home. Start with your family, mm -hmm. you know, and your kids that are right there with you, so be a good place. And, and that's the thing, the good news is that Jesus died on that cross. And there may be some of you watching this, it, it just, we've talked about this, and Bob read that, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord, you can be saved today. So call upon him, believe in him as Lord and master and savior, repent of sin, ask him to save you. He'll save you today. And we want to know about that. Yeah, we do. So make sure you uh, let us know about it. You can you can email me or Archie, bob at boomtime.tv, archie at boomtime.tv. Go to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We love to hear from you. We love to hear where you are in your faith journey. Uh, and we would love to, to talk to you. Hey, stay tuned. we got more to come. Confession Camp is always fun. Which is always good for him. He needs it. <laughs> Interested in hearing more from Pastor Archie? You can watch all of his sermons from Central Baptist Live or on demand at centralbaptist.com slash live. This segment of Boom Time with Bob and Archie is brought to you by Glenn Sane. Closed captioning of Boom Time with Bob and Archie brought to you by Apex Communications. I'll take the ones on the left. Hey, get them, get them, get them. Uh -oh. I can't see. Man, what's wrong with you? The sun is killing me. Hey, you need some Oakley sunglasses from Lens. I got a prescription. Hey, I got a prescription. In one hour, they'll give them to an you. Hour, one hour, I'll an be hour. back in an hour and before you can kill your limit. No way. At Hytrol, we provide material handling solutions that move the world. 
we've been designing, developing, and delivering advanced material handling systems for over 70 years. Hytrel operates on a promise, a promise to make lives better, to create the solutions people care about, to make incredible things happen each and every day. At Hytrel, we know what we'll always be doing, pushing boundaries, fostering relationships, and delivering what comes next. Hey Rusty, this is Bob Snell. I emailed you my prescription a little earlier. I need those Oakleys just like Archie's and I'll be there in a little bit. Here you go, Bob. You guys are fast. Thanks, Rusty. Man, there are devs flying everywhere. I need Bob. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Wait, right where, there. Where, I can where, see where, now. Where, where? Wow, you Woo! actually hit those. Hey, Lens Masters will take care of you, baby. Hey. I can see you again. <laughs> Make fun of my old John Bow, but the motor still runs, the hull still flows. Still drag us down to the same old hole behind the same old truck I bought years ago. That's right. Get in the red zone and seal the deal. We just want to say thank you for making Boom Time with Bob and Archie the most watched weekly program across Region 8 and in Mississippi's Golden Triangle. Boom Time is consistently rated number one week in and week out across all television networks. So again, thank you for choosing Boom Time and thank you for your financial support. We truly appreciate you and hope you get a smile from some of our adventures and are blessed by our biblical teachings. Because with Boom Time, it's all about Jesus. We are Straster Brothers Construction in Blyville and We Build Industry. We're one of Middle America's top providers of construction, engineering, and design services since 1980. We are a debt-free company, own our own equipment, and complete projects on time and on budget. So from conception to completion, Straster Brothers offers all the services needed for your next industrial build. Straster Brothers Construction, We Build Industry. For more info, visit straysterbrothers.com. This segment brought to you by the Arkansas Baptist Foundation and Christy McNeil Dance Studio. Hey, it is a boom time with Bob and Arch. And wait, another great wait day. He's not rolling. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right, you ready now? I was ready. Come hey. on in, Bobby. Hey, man. Hey, hey, boom time. Bobby, Kurt, or Kirk, whatever you want to call him. Kurt. K or T. I call him the We K. just call him the captain. But he kind of likes cats. So I'll just go ahead and confess that right yes. off the bat. Yeah. yeah. I do too. Okay. What's the problem with that? Yeah, what about cats, man? You like I like cats, cats and dogs. What's the issue? Kind of into cats. Kind of into know cats. What I really you know what like? Bob Snell is too, though. Bob's into cats. I'm kind of into this right here. Hey, this right yeah. here. Hey. Green. 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 There's I mean, a lot of K's there, right? Kirk. Killing. Cats. Oh, that's not with a K. No. And killing. <laughs> Boom time. <laughs> that is a confession. Yes. Hey, no, I like uh, that with a C. <laughs> hey, there was a part today, though. I mean, it was good. We And it got to a point, and I, I remember looking down through the pit, and I said, we have a problem. We have a problem. And was there was it. too many groups flying too close. Buzzing us. Buzzing us. Back and forth. You teal. were struggling with the gift of discernment. What I was <laughs> struggling with discernment because whether we shoot the teal That's and prophecy. wait on the mallards. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that was a yes. good day. Was a good and I will day. confess that I wasn't really sure we were going to even kill a bird. Yeah, because um, we had ice like quarter I mean, thick out there. I mean, thick out there. But ice eater, thank you. Yeah. That was beautiful. Well, Kept us open about a four foot hole. And next thing you know, that's all they wanted to do. Get oh, in. Good. Yeah, but it, it really didn't come in until we turned the ice eater off oh. later up in the day because it looked like a relay of pumping water. But whose idea was that? I feel encouraged. Bob, Bob Snell. There oh, you go. Yeah. I've had yeah. an idea. I it have worked. one every once in a while. It worked, so we'll give him the and, award for the day. And we don't have our limit of geese. And as these are about to fly over, if I just had a loaded gun, <laughs> hey, right you know now, what? I'm telling you, I would. We could. Right. We would be able to kill two to or three Road, of these. Though. You know that, right? We're too close. Oh, we're too to close. Finish. Yeah, I, think oh, I didn't right. know that. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, right, right there. You get them. Boom, hey, boom, boom, leave them about a pickup truck. Boom Pow. time, baby. See ya later. See you next week. More of this to come. Woo!